All right, guys, we're back out here um, today. It's the middle of January, and we have kind of a mild day today, probably 45, maybe 50 degrees, and I thought I'd get out and do a little bit of turkey pattern testing. Um, I did this a little bit yesterday with some Longbeard XRs and had great results. That's probably what I'll end up hunting with this spring, but uh, I have a couple other loads to try. One of them is the Federal TSS. It's a three inch with an ounce and three quarter payload of number nine tungsten steel shot. And I've actually shot this through this gun with a different choke, a Pattern Master in Black Mamba. And um, it shot very well, definitely a dead bird. It wasn't as tight as some TSS chokes as some TSS loads I've seen have shot, um, but it was definitely lethal. It had, I think, something like 250 pellets in a 10 inch circle at 40 yards. So definitely a killing pattern at 40, maybe 50 yards. Um, but today I put in the stock 660 turkey choke that came with the Stoger that I'm shooting. This is a Stoger M3500. This is a three inch shell and uh, we'll see how many pellets I can get on paper. Okay, looks pretty good. Uh, we'll go down and take a look. I, I may have forgot to mention, but this is 40 yards um, from the bucket to the target. Found it with my rangefinder before I sat down. Um, and uh, I'll walk you down there and we'll see what we got. And for the sake of editing, I took out the walk up. And uh, you can see the overall density of the pattern looks like it's there on the turkey. Maybe a little bit over here. May have pulled the shot a little to the right. Um, I have a tendency to roll the shotgun to the left and shoot a little left of target, so I've been really conscious of that. But um, we'll count those pellets up later, and I'll do a review and talk over all the different tests that I've done. I'll have shot four or five loads out of several different chokes by the time turkey season comes around. But um, that looks like a dead bird. One, two, three, four, five, six lethal shots, um, pink shots, but plenty more in the head and the neck area. Um, and even if the pattern is a little bit to the right, that bird's not getting out of there. Honestly, I've seen this load pattern much better. All right, we're back at the house. Let's talk about this pattern um, that we just shot. It's later in the evening for me. I had to get some work done, but we're gonna just edit this at the end of our previous video. Uh, I did two things. I, I pulled this sheet which is what we shot outside uh, I'll give you another look at that and I noticed when I was looking at the backing most of my shot actually ended up right in this area so I was maybe a little bit lower than what I was aiming and a little bit to the right that may have just been you know how I was aiming at the target it might be a little variance in the shell um, for whatever reason I was just off of my center of my page a little bit so what I did is I took the backing this was a fresh piece of cardboard. I've cut out the 10 inch circle that I drew. I drew a 10 inch circle in the most dense area of that pattern. Not because I wanted to see the point of aim or anything like that, point of impact, whatever. I just want to see what the choke and the, the shell will do out of this gun. So after finding what I believe is the densest part of the pattern, I drew a 10 inch circle and I counted them up. I got a total of 230 hits, pellets marked in that 10 inch circle. At 40 yards, that is plenty to kill a turkey. Um, there's no doubt that bird is gonna be dead. It'll be dead out to 50 yards. Um, it would definitely be a good, a good load for some guys if you have a Stoger and you got just the stock turkey, turkey choke and you just wanna go out and buy a TSS shell. Now you know, you know this one will do it. This is just the three inch TSS number nine ounce and three quarter payload. You can buy this just about anywhere. Um, at my gun shop, this ran me about $47 for five, so that's pretty expensive. For that reason, I'll probably save these and let some of my friends hunt with them. Um, I know that they'll shoot well out of their guns, uh, at least better than whatever lead load they've got now, most likely, or uh, let them borrow one of my guns that I know this will pattern out of. For my gun, what I'll probably end up doing is sticking with the uh, Longbeard 
shells that I shot the other day and did a, a different video on. And that's just my personal preference. But, um, you know, we'll see. I wanted to compare this pattern that we just shot to a pattern I shot with these same shells last year. This is out of a different gun and a different choke. And I thought the results were pretty interesting. I'll let you take a look at that. I hope that showed up on the camera. Um, it's much more dense than what we just shot. This was out of a Remington 870 with a Carlson's 18 and a half inch barrel with rifle sights and a 660 Carlson's TSS choke, turkey choke. So the same constriction, but a different brand, a different manufacturer, different barrel and gun, all of the above. So um, that just shows you that between guns, even if you're using the same type of things on paper, the same constriction of chokes, some guns shoot different things better. Um, for this shell, that Remington, it shoots phenomenal out of it. And this Stoger obviously is a killing pattern, but it's not really indicative of what TSS is capable of. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope this was interesting to you. Later on, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of these long beards and the TSS, and we'll count up pellets and just explain some of the reasons why I'm using what I'm using this year. I uh, appreciate you guys watching.